Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Right here in the, the Army of the Green is this host army that is attacking the Crimea. I'm watching that closely. They are going to take the Crimea. They have way too many troops for us to be able to stop them, unfortunately. I wanted to use the Holy Order to stop them, but someone else was using that. I don't know if we'll ever have another chance at the Holy Order. I hope we do get another chance. It was this Yak guy. They're going to have around 5,000 troops here once they get them all there. Hopefully, hopefully they'll come up here and fight Bulgarian troops. I don't know if they'll do that or not afterwards. We just can't really raise an army to go fight them right now. Because we just recently fought a war to retake uh, Magyar, these territories, the little kingdom of it. And, uh, Rama. We can't get rid of this guy. Oh, he, he loves us now. Wait, you're not the right guy. Oh, maybe it took a little bit to get rid of the guy? Oh, wait, no, that's the son of the guy. That worked out well. I hope you knew, knew what I meant by that. Let's take a look at, um... England, Galatia, man, growing and growing and growing. Also growing here and there. Italy seemed to have gotten pushed back a little bit. Maybe the, what is it, the Andalusians. We're like, we're not going to have any of that. The Abbasids seem to be all right. Apparently the Byzantine Empire has ended their revolt. And Basilius uh, Petronus... He shoots himself out as a Patronus to fight uh, Dementors. He hates us. But we have a Chancellor right there trying to kiss up to him. We have weak claims I would love to press. But money. What the hell is Who the fuck is that? What, is he just a looter? He can loot up there. What we ought to do... Oh, we don't have enough money. What I ought to do is form a duchy up here. And, like, give it to somebody, try and force some more powerful units up there, but... I shouldn't say guys, but what are you going to do? Half tempted to give away the title King of Magyar. Just to get us under that limit. Sucks to see that right there. Stupid host army. And somewhere over here, there should be a rebel army. This man's army. Paprika the Cruel of the Orthodox. His army is down to 62 guys? You know what must have happened? Most of his army died conquering all these territories. And on his way probably to our area, he probably ran into an enemy army that kicked the crap out of him. Meaning, if these 63 guys die, I think the rebellion's over. Oh, and there are troops in there that he might run into. Either that or he might end up in our territory. We should be able to take a 63-man army. If we can't, then we don't deserve to be emperor anymore. Um, our son, Sava. No, our cousin needs to be educated. Still dealing with being broke as fuck. When I introduced my friend, uh, Salomon, I had ho high hopes. I had hope. What? When I introduced my friend to Salomon, I had high hopes. I hoped they would become fast friends so we could spend time together, the three of us. Alright, so... Salomon, he likes us, I guess. Whatever. Honestly, what we need is to take some territory for the king so we can raise some more money. And we need to get some money to improve things. The problem right now is money, money, money. Our military, that's good. Raised versus unraised, that means our levies have been satisfied. Mm, satisfy them. Which hopefully means any money then will go right into our retinue. And most everybody should be paying taxes. Because if you look at an opinion, everybody likes Horse Baby Boy. Oh, there it is! There's the rebel army! Let us raise some vassals to go attack it. 
That should be enough. Man, that shows how weak that area was right there. In fact, we're going to put that right there. My mission to Constantinople has been successful. This is our chancellor. Um, I've managed to visit the court of um, Basilius Patronus and make him like you. Ooh. He's like, I read him stories. My liege, I'm pleased to report to you that the errant subject, Mayor Sermon of Irianopolis, is converted to the Tangri faith. So the mayor would be, I believe, this guy right here. He's like, you're right. We should be Tangri reformed. Excellent, excellent. Because this area here is still orthodox. That means orthodox, but I think some Tangri influence. Lords of the Byzantine Empire have approved the institution of medium crown authority. I don't know why we get those notifications. It must mean something we own here falls into their traditional sphere of influence. Because I'm pretty sure we're not an elector in the Byzantine Empire. How many guys do you have? Three? That is useless. <laughs> Man, it would be so awesome if we could defeat this this Orthodox Uprising, which once had 4,000 men in it. And they will take this area. Let us unite these guys and move them out. Come on, Braslav. In fact, we will probably give you some commanders to help out. See, that's the real plan. Denial works every time. Oops. I'm pleased to report. Um, bishop, someone... Oh, great. That means the bishop in that area has turned into Tangri, so he'll be more likely to convert people. Put you guys in charge. We're going to look at him a quick second. Um, oops, I'm in the wrong place. So the bishop of this area... Is now Tangri too. It's like you're right. That's awesome sauce. We are currently war winning the war in Crimea, but that's going to change momentarily because this host army is about to take it. How many troops does he have left? I see how many he has there. He's still got over four thousand. I would hope. I hope he just goes into Bulgaria and fights a bunch of troops. I knew exactly where I would find my son, Ragu Pasta son, when he did not show up for practice in the library in his favorite chair with the biggest book he could find. Um, that's good though. We're not going to make him eat the books. We're going to say, yes, you should take pride in your learning. Um, because Horse Baby Boy is a real theologian. He's going to be like, yes, take pride in your learning. Ragu Pasta son is definitely sure of himself. He's gained the proud trait. That's awesome. Pride goeth before the Tangri fall. Alright, yes! They may have taken Kapior, but now we have a chance to fight them. Prepare to suck it hard, rebels. Our plan to wait you out until you killed yourself worked. Victory! Rebellion over! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> Look at Bertissi. All these areas in the north. Or, I'm sorry, east. I don't know my areas. They have the, um, this means that we control it. The spotted areas mean they're controlled by the Rebellion. The Rebellion is dead. Their leader has been destroyed. The Carpathian Orthodox Revolt has ended. And for a horse baby boy of Carpathia has won. There's going to be a lot of rebuilding to do in the East, but that's their problem. Hell yeah, we won. Hopefully that means they can pay taxes back there. And we will send home the vassal troops. Yeah, we are losing here in the Crimea. That's going to happen. Not a hell of a lot we can do about that. The big hope here is when these guys come across, they just fight um, Bulgarians. I don't know if that'll happen or not. Come on, there's some right there. Go fight them. Don't run away from them. Because then we're going to have to raise our armies to go fight you. This would be so much easier if somebody had just not used up the Holy Order.
I do feel bad for Horse Baby Boy, though. He is 31. He has spent half his life squashing rebellions. Fate smiles on my hot concubine, Stoyanka, with the stank vajanka. <laughs> well, she's got lover's pox. I bet she's cheating on you. All right, let us raise personal levies. And we're going to put them right up there. Hopefully they're going to make more in taxes now that we have recovered the eastern part of the empire. They're not very profitable regions, but like any taxes is better than no taxes. Oh, I don't know how long that's going to hold. That will hold out for a while right there. My biggest worry, though, is how long the other place says hold out here. They will not hold out long. I'm more worried about the bigger chunk of the army coming out. If we can fight them separated, if we can fight them piecemeal, we got a chance. And once we get up here, we might call some of our vassals into the mix. Horse baby boy, you may not have created the Empire, but if the Empire exists by the time you're done, you'll be the one who um, took care of it. <laughs> that's not a great title. Drag son of Sophia, that's in our title territory, or our capital territory right here, claims that he would be a better diviner than Shaman Haranamir. No, I like Haranamir. We're going to give Hironomir more time, because that'll make him like us more. Hironomir's done an excellent job, and traditionally we have not had um, shamans that did a great job. Now, maybe it's just because the moral authority is so high, 90.3, I don't know, but... Come on, armies, march, 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 as fast as you can. How's Rome doing? Rome is still fighting against these rebellions. Which I'm all for. Ooh, Aquitaine's got a rebellion. This is the rebellion. Here's Aquitaine. Well, the Holy Roman Empire got a chunk of Aquitaine, too. Defeat. Uh-oh. They're taking more of the Crimea from us. Oh, that's going to fall very quickly. At least this castle will stay up for a little bit. March, my men, like you've never marched before. Fate smiles on my cocky. Holy shit, she got pregnant? She's 40. <laughs> I didn't think she was going to get pregnant. I thought she'd just keep us warm at night and teach us... I don't know. We could have taken her daughter as a concubine. Maybe we should do that too. That'd be a little weird. <laughs> I'm not going to get rid of any concubine. If one died, I'd consider it, though. My liege, it is most unfortunate that you happen to hold a title that is agreed on. All agree should be rightfully mine. You cannot have it, chief. We're going to reject diplomatically. Your wife's hot. Maybe she could be my concubine. Honcubine? Honk! That's what Tangry the Goose God would have, would be honcubines. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, All right, the Crimea has totally been taken, or is occupied, I should say. They have a 21% war score. Man, the Holy Roman Empire fighting rebels there. When I introduced my friend to Shaman Bertalan, I had high hopes. I hoped they'd become fast friends. And they did. We became great friends at a good time. Emperor Horse Baby Boy, his big idea of fun is hanging out with the shamans. Maybe he's a badass, though, with how many people the shamans have killed traditionally, traditionally in our kingdom. Alright, there's the big host army coming out to probably siege Corson, I'm guessing. Oh, maybe not. They're moving on the other side of the river. 
Alright, terrible. Raise your troops. That's it. What about this place? Nine? That's useless. What about Kiev? 551? Alright, that would make a difference. Where's these guys? How long until you get there? September 15th. We're going to wait till our troops actually move in there. In fact, that might be his army right there. House Arpid? Or maybe that's just the house. Maybe that's not the sign of necessarily um, invaders from far away. A daughter was born to the emperor um, named Borislava. Sorry that you got a shitty name, girl. <laughs> Dad. All right, let's merge these troops. Hmm, they decided to merge all of their armies right there. All right, so we're going to merge our armies here. Do we have our best leaders? There's got to be somebody better we can put. Beardo, other Beardo, other Beardo. Hey, Donut! That's a classic family name. How many troops can we raise here? 84, not so good. 146. 61. We'll have those guys move into there. We might as well raise the people from here, too. Man, they've got almost 5,000 troops there. And somebody needs to be educated. Dana does. All right, there you go. Kind of have more pressing concerns at the moment, to be honest. We're going to wait a little bit longer. Oh, these guys don't have attrition. I would have thought they would. Maybe they will in January. Of course, we can't wait forever because of the financial situation. All right, we're going right at them. They're going after us. Man, this is going to be mighty close. We do have an advantage of a few hundred. Hopefully our technology is better than their technology, though. You're going to suck on it. That's what you're going to do, you damn invaders. I'm so sick of you bastardsons. Prepare to get your nuts stomped. It is on. We are, um, we are the defenders here. They are the attackers. They do have more archers than us. That's not so good for that round. Okay, we had a baby. Great. That's nice. <laughs> that was the one to the old lady. Yes! We crushed their left! We crushed their center! And now we're gonna crush their other flank. Nobody comes and invades our territory. Okay, lots of people do, but eventually we win. <laughs> that doesn't have such a good ring. Oh, and they're marching to where we are as we retake this. Excellent. Um, we can give up the title of commander to somebody. Suck it, host army. You're getting trounced. Victory! War is over! We win another war! Carpathia will remain ours. Oh, I mean Carpathia, uh, the Crimea. We have captured that guy. We are not going to let him go start another war. And while we're at it, send all the troops home. Um, send the retinue home, I guess. We could actually keep the retinue out here. I don't know where to put them. We'll actually put them right there. There's no rush. Well, finally, after all that time, all the wars are done. Our hero, if you want to call him a hero, he probably isn't really. Horse Baby Boy, the Tengri Zealot, has basically been fighting wars for the last 16 years. Half of his life, ever since he took charge. Look at all these babies he made. Here's his newest one, Alexandra. 
His mom's like, or her mom's like, I make the babies real good. <laughs> All right, that was weird on my part. Whatever. Bulgaria, how many troops do you have? 914? Oh, man. I want this holy order so bad, but that other guy's got them. How many uh, does the rubble group have? Oh, he's got... Oh, that rubble... Group is getting bigger and bigger in Bulgaria. He's putting a claim on Bulgaria. He wants to be the new Bulgarian king. High Chief Radislav of Kuravaya. Of where? Oh, these areas right here. He's the High Chief. Um, has provided me with proof that Kolajan of Sirdara has been viciously slandering me. Um, I'm going to ignore it because Kolo... Kalojan, however you pronounce it, Kalojan, he has been an awesome leader in our army. So we're just gonna, you know what, if he had a day where he was drunk and he was shooting off his mouth, it's alright, man. We all have bad days where we're mad at the boss. Well, it's been a long time, but the Carpathian Empire has no more rebel groups, no more revolts. It's looking peaceful, nice and peaceful, and we still have to get out of debt. Man, that was a long, hard slog just to try and keep all the pieces together. Horse Baby Boy was like, I never doubted for a moment. I always knew that Tangra the Goose God would see me through. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Thanks for hanging out.